um, cut through the wire. This is squeezed together, which it shouldn't be. It pinched the wire. And then, yeah. So, first thing you'll want to do is take the correct wire colors. I checked this. It's black and white. And you want to put two of the, um, these pieces. Don't know what they're called. I just call them connectors. And put them on. After that, you'll want to take this, put it on there, put it on here, take this, make sure you put it on the right way, of course, like so. You want to take it to the third one, or the middle one, because it's five, and then you want to push down. It'll squish together just a bit, but not much. Alright. So now you want to get that on. There's a little clip. You want to make sure you hear that. And... The arm is fully assembled, the arm itself. Then you want to take the other two, stick them on here, the last two remaining spots. And then, put it on the drone. And then, of course, you'll want to hook it up to this spot right here, where you got it from. Like... So... Okay, right there. Just like that. And also, if you can see, there is quite a bit of damage on the propellers. I don't know if you can see it that well because they're clear. But, yeah. This is how you put the propellers to get the prop arms together and then you wanna this part all the pieces on here come off except for the actual frame itself it won't come apart but you see here along with these pieces right here other than that that's it And as with regular, regular Legos, it's super hard to actually get it in right. Especially for these little pieces right here. Sometimes they break whenever you actually try to do it. So yeah, you'll definitely want to be careful with that. Because it's super hard to actually get these out. But there you have it. I'll tell you that it's about to calibrate, which makes which which tells it where how high it is, if it's above anything, and most importantly, which QR code it's on. Um, next, it's going to turn green, and that'll tell you that calibration is done, and it'll take off in a few seconds, and it'll. Um, stay up for about 10 seconds at first and then it'll move to the QR code number 41 the Aruku code actually number 41 and that's and whenever it does that the light will be blue and it'll take 10 seconds to do that and then it'll turn purple whenever it's about to land so the way this works is that to actually get it to take off and everything you have to um, hit the, the first one, the flag, the second one after a few seconds, and then the third one. And this is the um, actual program, the mission send, and then the mission um, start.
So we met Dr. Cot had made this um little strip of Aruku codes because the one that initially came with it, it's huge, about ten by ten foot. And so he did this. Just four codes to do a test. So I'm gonna go ahead and start. Alright. So pretty soon the light should turn red. Means it's um it knows it's zone one. It's calibrated and it's going up to my guess a hundred centimeters. I'm gonna sit there. Now it's gonna move to number forty one, as you see here. And then it'll turn purple and tell you that it's going to Ready? Mm-hmm. Good. Do it a second time, but don't talk. This again is the light B go. Um, go. You can, if you can, you might be able to see the little green light. That means it's actually connected. And so I'm gonna hit the actual code itself. Then mission send, and then mission start. All right. And soon, whenever it receives that, it'll turn blue and green. That means it received the command. And it's about to start. So now it should do that again. Or not. But it, tur it stays green after it gets the initial command. But I have it to where every time it does something, it changes the light. The other code that I made, whenever I click, the it'll actually this one will take off and go um higher than the one on 38 so that way they don't crash into each other but this one is also going to stay here for um 30 seconds while this one does what it does and it goes um to 41 and then after that this one will move over to 39 and land all right so i'm gonna go ahead and start the code hitting the code send and start